of you want to do things right. To keep up with keeping your lives tight. Tight as in being right with the truth of true insight. Who of you want to do things right? Who of you want to truly succeed in attaining all and that which is your need? To be heard by the real answerer of all deeds, the true hero of all whom pleads. Who of you really want to bow down to the true king of kings commanding the crown? To worship the one that ever rules alone, commanding everything of creation from the seat of its throne. You think you can take this seat? Just don't come and try to take the words that I used to give me and then right. try to fabricate them. Because right. I'm going to beat you up for it. Because right. I know the sister, you know, she accepted a slam. And um, she, we met and, you know, she got to talking to me. And, you know, and I told her, I said, look, you can't look at me and conversate with me like you would other Muslims you meet. I said, that's not my path. You know, and I told her where I stand. I said, the Muslims have put a law aside and had raised mm -hmm. Muhammad up just like the um, so called Christians right. put a law aside to raise Jesus up. Mm -hmm. And and, and I, I saw her, you know, her happiness and her about being a part of Islam. The next thing I know, you know, I get, I've been getting a bunch of emails and everything, and I'm like, okay. Sure. I told her to watch out for what the so-called Muslims was going to offer her. And now everything I get from her is a knowledge, 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 knowledge. It's always pushed. And, and, and my whole thing is, there's nothing wrong to know, but if you're, if you're trying to get near to Allah, if you're surrendering yourself to Allah, then why do you need to know all this other stuff that's not even so much relative to Allah, you know, you know. so they go, they, she, it seems like she has gone into, dived into Hadithism, mm -hmm. um, don't have no type of foundation in what's in the Quran, you know. They and, don't follow the Quran, they yeah. don't, they don't follow the Quran, mm -hmm. Allah said there's a new religion called Hadithism. Just like from what Jew, right. the Allah gave to Moses and Israel and Abraham, the Jews and the Romans broke off from that and created a new religion called Christianity. Yeah. Right. You understand? Right. So the Muslims got their Christianity. That's Hadithism. Right. Yeah. And, um, mm -hmm. you know, and, they, um, and, and, and I truly, truly believe that the biggest mistakes Muslims make when they open the Quran is that they think that Allah is talking to the Kafir. It took me a long time to understand what the heck that was. But talking to someone other than them. The biggest mistake that the Muslims make when they open the Quran is that they don't open it up to Allah. Okay. Yeah. They open it up to themselves. They open it up and think that they could take a fig off the tree. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A seed from the fruit. Okay. And, and manipulate it and manifest it and master it themselves. Not knowing that the words of the Holy Quran is the essence of Allah itself. Right. And you know what? In the words, the power of the words. Allah said this in this day and time. There will be one that will be seated in its strength upon the throne. Huh? Mm -hmm. How many people recognize that just like? Allah saying that I will put you on raised couches with rivers from beneath your feet in gardens where you will have virgins serving you your pleasures. How many people understand the symbolism of that? Yeah. Right. Well, you know what? I think Allah, one of the things Allah did, because I was talking to a young lady the other day and um, she had watched the Passion what was that? Passion of Christ. Passion of Christ. Okay. And she said it was her first time ever watching it and she she really don't pick religion, so to speak. And she said, I cannot believe that movie. I can't believe what took place and what have you, what have you. She said the Christians she said the Christians she said, I wonder why that movie was made. She said, because it seemed like it was a call to the Christians. And I said, true indeed. I said, I believe. And I said, I have not seen the movie. Don't need to see the movie. 
I said, but I believe that Allah was calling the Christians to recognize the fake of Christianity. She said, he wasn't a Christian. She said, they made Christianity a spinoff of Catholicism. 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 Yeah. And I said, right. And she said, and it was Jesus' people and the Catholics that did that to right. him. Mm -hmm. I said, right. She said, so why are we practicing that which <laughs> came from <laughs> the, the yeah, Catholics? The, yeah. And I said, right. She said, I don't understand. She said, all these people saw this picture. Did they ever think at one time they need to rethink that which they say they believe in? Okay, let's go back to something. Go ahead. Don't need to cut you off, but this is a good point. Mm -hmm. Allah said that part of the miracles of Jesus was raising the dead. Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. And Allah said what people say, one like Jesus would be returned in this day. Mm -hmm. But he wouldn't come. He would be the line of Judah, mm -hmm. the root of David. Right. Beloved, who was the beloved son of one of the sons of Jesus, said he would come, he wouldn't come until the coming of Elijah. Right. Mm -hmm. Now you have people cursing Elijah and saying Elijah wasn't right, he's fake, he's even the, the yeah. brothers of the Noble Drew Ali movement, imitation of Noble Drew Ali. Like, you know, the, the prophets could take claim of Allah. In Allah's work. Right. When they should never do that. Right. They should respect all prophets. Right. And hold them equally. Right. In their minds and hearts. Because they are just servants of that one. Right. Mm -hmm. Hmm? Now, one of the signs of Elijah is he raised the living dead. Right. Yeah. Us. Mm -hmm. Our people. Right. Raised us from a life of death. Our people refused him, most of us, and some of us turned back on our hills to go back to death. Right. And that is yeah. why those people can't see Jesus with the long hair not being Jesus with the sheep wool like hair. Right. They can't see Christianity being developed 300 years after Jesus' death That's right. by his enemies. They can't see Paul faking it out, saying that he didn't need Jesus. He had become enlightened on the path of the way from Rome. Mm -hmm. They can't see him like an average man that wanted power. Right. That's right. Huh? And they can't see the, the, the disciples of Jesus having been weak. Right. Right. Even though they got the teachings of Jesus. Just because you can repeat don't mean you understand and you're submitted. Right. That's right. Right. And that's what she was saying. You know, she was really disturbed, and I was yes, and that's her. what and that's what happened to a lot of the people who watched that movie, Jews and Christians, and, and, and yeah. the, uh, the so-called what they call them that don't Gentiles alike. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they became disturbed with uh, Mel Gibson, but Mel Gibson only pulled pull the truth um, right. out. And the thing about it is, how many people talking about Jesus calling? You know, the Lord El Allah. Right. Because he called him uh, Allah in there. What should right. Mel Gibson know about Islam? You yeah. understand what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. That, that he would put that in there. He just told the truth of what he know. The Christians over in the East still call God, the Father God, Allah. Right. But they won't let they won't allow that information to come across the Atlantic into this nation. And you do you know every book they write must be must be examined to see if they bring a certain information oh, okay. in this country. They don't allow certain things to come into this country for the people to find these things out. Yeah, because you you know I, like I said I didn't see the picture, but I laughed later you know because she went about the, sh the hair and yeah. everything. Oh, yeah. Uh, and I you know I explained to her I said um, why would our people think that our enemy. He's going to give us our the best slave, yeah. our, our slave master mm -hmm. would give us truth. Yeah. I said when you, when we became um, knowledgeable enough to read the Bible and see that um, Jesus had hair, sheep, wood, wool, mm -hmm. we should have been suspicious of the master then. Right. I said, but we just da 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 yeah. 
And you know, and I was telling her, I said, but I said, Allah, for, for the Christian, see, because see, when Allah, when the dreadful day is, is takes everybody out, people are going to say, well, I wasn't called. But I told her, I said, that Passion of Christ movie oh, it was, was a, calling. a calling. Everybody it gave them calling. another chance to go back to their book, mm -hmm. reread yeah. their book, pull the truth out of it. Yeah. And surrender to that. But you know, there was an older guy, and I wish I knew his name, but I can't remember his name. He was an older Caucasian guy. He used to have a show on TV. He would come on the cable stations like 5 o'clock in the morning. Anything they don't want you to really know about, they ain't going to put it in prime time. Mm -hmm. And he used to, and he, he passed not long ago. Herbert Armstrong? It could have been him. You're talking about revelations and all these things? Yeah. Yeah, you have to watch it there. And he told the truth, and he was trying to warn the Caucasian people, said, look, you, you know, it's up. Your time is yeah. up. You got to stop this. Just like he talked about them creating a, a neutron bomb, the atom bomb. Right. That, you know, nuclear bomb and all that. Right. Talking about different things that was going to be taking place, and he was begging them. Yeah. Begging them to get right with their, with the slaves. Back in the dude, yeah, dude. Yeah. yeah, you know that his name was Armstrong. Okay. And his son took over. His son started teaching the, the false doctrine. That his son started was was in the same right? spirit. Was his, mm. his son that came in the same spirit. The father came. Take, take him out, just yeah. like Martin yeah. King came down the line. Yeah. 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 So you know, I was telling her. I said, let me tell you something. Before Allah said, before it destroyed you, destroyed the town. It's going to send you a warning. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Definitely. You know. Yeah, said, and it sent warnings to all, all around the world. I said Trust before it destroyed Noah people, they, it took those people out on that ark. But do you, you know, know? Do you know that uh, people in general don't believe that this is their revelation? That this is their oh, yeah. day. And then they don't believe that the Lord is real, that it's really going to get them. And every time a catastrophe of great magnitude to come about, they say, oh, is this it? I believe this is it. And all they need is one person in authority to say, no, that's not it. That's happening now. And then they say, oh, okay. You know? How do they expect the devil to be truthful and say, yes, this is it. Come against me. <laughs> You know, turn against me. The devil gonna take you all the way out. Mm -hmm. The jinn ain't gonna never, man. You be sitting right in front of the fire and say, "That's not fire. That's light." Yeah. <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, man. But people don't want to recognize. Like one thing that I used to do now is with you being here, and like all the people when she said people that come to religion. They give them all the fantasy. They really do. They yeah. paint up a beautiful picture of Islam. The logic that's to get them in. Draw them in. But then when they get in there, then they put the whip to them. Then, and that's where that's what's happening now. So they we, put the whip to them, and then the people don't know that every man, woman, and child that practiced Islam supposed to be practicing to become of the free realm of Aiza, the freedom of right. the Lord El. That's what you're supposed to be practicing to become of, of it, subservient to it, a slave to it alone. No matter, see, no matter who I work with, you could be the boss of the company. I'm a slave of Allah. I might be a slave to you by, 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 you know, contract, whatever that contract is. But in my heart and in my mind and in my inner being, I'm only a slave to Allah. Because in my consciousness, when I come to work for you, I'm coming to work to please my Lord, not you. And I try to do the best job I can, not for you, for my Lord, to please my Lord, so my Lord will reward me. Because my Lord may want to use that job as a trap just to take me away from it and give me a better uh, um, 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 assignment in life, you know, occupation. See, but if I'm working for you and if I'm slaving for you, I ain't going to never leave that job. That's how they get people is talking about a career. Some people, they got opportunity to do better in their life. They're afraid to make that change. Why? Because they slaved to that situation. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah, and they make, you know, I, didn't, I couldn't figure out until I was 29 years old or more uh, what, my, what I'm supposed to be doing okay. as a profession. And I said, boy, you know, I ain't never been able to figure this out. That's bad. But it wasn't bad. Right? When I got situated in, 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 the, in the police field, I thought, oh, this must be it. Mm -hmm. Before I knew it, I was out of that. 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But the people in the world want you to think that if you don't set up a program or a direction for where you're supposed to go, where you're going to go, then you're wrong. In school, they say, well, what you going to be when you grow up? You got to make your plans now. Why? How do you know what you're going to be in five years? Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's why they try to teach everybody in a certain order in school when some people are not really intellectually inclined. Yeah. They, more, they got better motor skills. Right. And they're more artistic. Right. Where they can create more. You get, as a teacher, as an educator, it's your job to find out where the people fit. Right. Not to try to make everybody fit in the same damn going hole. Square doing. pegs all in the circles. They, they just beat them down, gonna That's try to make do. them fit. That's what they do. They talk about education and kids and kids. That's the people's good. fault because they right. turn away from the wise right. to the foolish. To the fool. You understand? Mm -hmm. Now that's going back to the Holy Quran. When they open up the book, they don't look for the wise. No, they don't. They look for wit, their own wit. <laughs> yeah. Huh? Mm -hmm. Their ability to reconstruct and their ability to, to, to repeat. Right. Huh? Mm -hmm. And so we got a big problem going on. You got people that forget that they supposed to practice Islam until they live Islam. That they supposed to continually uh, um, 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 vow their oath to seek to bear witness. Yeah. Not to, not this is your witness bearing oath. No, to seek to bear witness because when you come into Islam, do you really know? No. no. no you you know. think you know, you believe, you hope you're right, you go and yeah, I'm trusting this. This right. seems right, this sounds right. right. You can, you right. gonna, you gonna know by experience. Right. True indeed, right. You know, now when you take that vow, to surrender, then that's on you. You it's like self hypnosis, mm -hmm. auto suggestion. Okay. But look, let's look at this thing. Is that written for you to do anywhere in the Bible, anywhere no. in the Holy Quran, anywhere in the Gospel, the Torah, anything? No. No, it's not. That's something that man has contrived. That's right. For people to put their contract up there and feel that they owe it to an organization, an institution, or a group. Taking my witness, open witness bearing with them. What about Allah? Yeah. You see, that's yeah. why going with the call of prayer. Yeah. Who do you really suppose to call a prayer? The community yes. or yourself? yourself? You call yourself the prayer. Right. Mm -hmm. And you allow the community to hear you, though they might join you in prayer. But the devil's right. turned that around and they call the world the prayer. And they're not even praying to Allah. <laughs> right. So they're praying at something. Yeah, you know. They praying out an idea of Allah. Another thing I used to sit down and breaking down now. When you, I used to break down the word religion. If people ever understand Allah said it is your way of life, then they don't. They will become out of breaking up that Sunday is my day, worship Friday or Saturday. Now, every day, moment, I'm trying to surrender is part of my way of even my job is all inclusive now Sufis, of your way of life. The Sufis have a beautiful expression for that. They say that your home and your job should be extensions of your mosque, your masjid, yeah. your temple, you know? And what they simply mean is when you leave that temple, take it with you. Wherever right. you go, be in it, you know? I the world it. is your temple, right. be in it, you know? But, yeah, don't that go back to us speaking English again? Speaking English again makes much more and make you, then you can relate better. Yeah. How my Lord do see me in all every aspect of my life now. Then I'm more accountable to mm -hmm. my Lord and to myself mm -hmm. now because mm -hmm. it all falls back on you. Allah said, whatever good you do, it's for you and it's for Allah. Yes. It's for you, really. Yeah. But the blessing it gives you in recognizing and remembering it and serving it mm -hmm. is the, the thing that it gives you the better to give and receive back when he just said through Jesus. Yeah. It's better to give back of your good and well because Allah mm -hmm. said don't do good and follow with the injury. Mm -hmm. Not only said Allah in the Quran, people misconstrue what he said, misinterpret mm -hmm. on purpose. Allah mm -hmm. said that what you think is bad for you is good for you. How about how about the brother saying that you need to know Arabic in order to Oh pray? that's a, now where is that written now I never said that you don't the say your prayers in Arabic, the angels won't hear you. And if you bring a dog in the house, <laughs> right. or whatever, the angels won't come in your house. They have lowered the dog, <laughs> lowered in the Christians, they have lowered the snake. Yeah. 
you know and 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 they and they create these fabrications man and they do harm to themselves and others and don't even realize it really yeah. really your owing is not really to yourself right in reality who are you right mm -hmm. you know your owing is all to our ease of. Right. That's why in the in the first in the beginning of the opening it says all praise is due to Allah. You you know what I'm saying? And it and it's very significant that we understand that as human beings, one of our greatest problems is love. Yeah. The love of our own individual selves yeah. getting in the way of what we're supposed to be doing. We supposed to be loving the Lord more than we love ourselves. You know, it's an old saying. Who would you prefer? What do you prefer to appreciate or want the most? The giver or the gift? Yeah. If my wife received my gifts and want my gifts more than me, and I find out about it, yeah. I know that I'm not loved. Yeah, she just loves I don't gifts. care how expensive the gifts are, yeah. or and then I can't appreciate not being loved. All you want is my gifts. My gifts are only tokens to tell you about my heart, right? <laughs> right. You know, I just want to show you something. Look, I've extended myself to get this expensive gift for you, and it's beautiful, and it reflects you. And this is what I'm saying. I appreciate you like right. I appreciate this. Look. And it's from my heart. Now, if, right. she, if she get confused and love that, then I know I'm in trouble because as soon as my money run out, Big yeah, John over there with that love. big robe, take my wife. How many times that has happened in life? Oh, oh. Same thing to Aiza. Same thing. You got to love Aiza more. You right. love, what do you want, the giver or the gift? You are the gift. Mm. So you want yourself more than that which gave you yourself? Mm. That which you need to continue in being <laughs> yourself? <laughs> it, is, it is insane that men guide yeah. you to the things. That's why Allah so, so wisely say, I will forgive you. In other words, I'll, I'll be light on you. Right. I'll be compassionate and soft on you. And I'll keep you from so much harm. Right. I'll take you out of the harm's way for everything, except right. setting up an equal with me. You go. And then all the people look out, saying, "Well, I'm not going to set up they, they idol worship, and they're setting up equal with with the law." Oh, look at these! They're setting up Jesus with the law. Oh, they're setting up these mans with the law. Oh, they. But what about you? <laughs> Have you set yourself up with Allah? Yeah. Is Allah first, foremost, and last in your life? Most important? Always Al Noon? Always the one recognized as the doer? As the real of the reality? Yeah, in your the, life? No, they get the self. You had to close the whole You heard it. People said, hold up. Calling me to me again. Calling me to me. There you go. Wow. You know? <laughs> you got to understand. People say that I'm gonna find myself. I'm gonna come to know myself. Okay, yeah, if so. Jesus said for he he who knows himself knows the Lord. Right. And he who knows the Lord knows himself. And people go out and say, I'm God. <laughs> yeah, they do. Always try to take a shortcut. Yeah. You need to understand that Jesus was not speaking. The Lord was speaking through Jesus. And the Lord is all wise, all knowing, all seeing, all hearing, all experiencing. And it said, in order for you to know you, you must know me. In order right. for you to know me, you will know you. Right. Right. That's right. Because I am you and you are me, yet you are not me. I am all things, yet all things are not me in the completeness of their being because they are only a reflection of what I really am. Right. The and it is so many things that I reflect in myself that you can never put them all together and say, there it is. Mm. Because in all those things that I reflect, there is so much more that I have yet to reflect. <laughs> I am endless. I am unfathomable. I am impossible for you to be. 
If anything to be. But they cannot be but me. So the sign that he's giving that is like the sun and the moon. Out of the light comes out of the darkness comes the light. You only get to ask. You think about some night creatures thinking the moon is the sun. sun. <laughs> <laughs> when the moon is only reflecting the sun, right. they look up in the sky and they say, "That's a bright star, and it's a planet." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. You know, because they can't tell the difference unless they study it and recognize that even the planets, Earth itself, in this in a far off distance, look like a star at night. Right. Because the sun's shining on the earth and be bouncing off its reflection, and what it see? Just like the light in your eye. Mm -hmm. You know? Well, how many people recognize that, realize that, you know? And that's the same way it is with, with uh, what Allah give us to practice in religion, so, so we can come unto it in, in a more real state of mind, you know? And that's to see inside and out, and don't, don't take anything for granted, but take up the whole. Right. Or life, you know, huh? Language is beautiful. Yes, it is. If Allah bless you to open language up, man, mm -hmm. you know? What I used to do, you know, is blessing, you know, this message through you that is sending down is removing the fallacy, the fantasy, the fake, because, like you said, many religious leaders make people become pompous because you are the greatest, you know, especially religious people serve, but you know, the Lord is blessing you. It's all about you. Man is so egoistic. That's what it and is. And they want praise. That they want, they want, they so much of the devil, they don't know it. They want to be right. Allah. They want to be the Lord Aiza. They want to be the Lord El on the throne. They want to have the same power. They want to have the same freedom. It takes you understand? Stand. So, so if the devil's advocate come and say, you're great, you're this, yep. you're that, you're this, that, and the other, and we're better than those people, Everybody. how many jump on that bandwagon? Everybody. I've known people world, who have yeah. ruined, personally known people who has ruined their life to let somebody tell them that they better than somebody else, despite me telling them constantly, we are all equally dependent upon the law. Yeah. We're equally dependent right. upon the Lord L. That's how we was created, equal. Yeah. Everything is equally dependent yeah. upon, I don't care how powerful it is. The sun is equally dependent upon the law as I am. And I can go up near to the sun and burn and dis dissipate. <laughs> uh, forget about turning black. <laughs> you know what I'm yeah. saying? But it is equally dependent upon Allah, no more and no less. You know? But they tell you, you're better. You ain't better. Look how many fools think they're better cause they, because the devil is, uh, because they make a, 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 a high amount of financial yeah. sustenance, yes. money. And this, they say, I'm better than you. Oh, we can't have them. No, no, no. You should have them. You should try to find a way to equal things out. You know what I'm saying? You got people like, oh, they can't be with us because they too stupid or they don't make yeah. enough money. What about educating them? Right. What about edu helping them out? What about helping their children out try to make them better people? Now, if they refuse you, that's one thing. Right. But how you going to charge them just off face value? You know what I mean? Yeah. Judging the book by its cover, so to speak. Out Brother you. told me once, he said, uh, he said, man, I know you got money, man. I know you got, every time I see you looking good, you got money. I said, that's a sign of me not having money. <laughs> <laughs> if so, I got money, why am I looking good all the time so trying to get money? Trying to wealthy, look like I got money. Some of the wealthiest people you never The realize. wealthiest people, you ain't gonna see them dressed up. Nope. And you'll see them come down in bummy cars and stuff. They ain't bringing their best cars down here. Right. And you'll never know they got money. It's the ones you can see with the best, baddest suit. They want to get something else. Right. I wear these monkey suits so that people will sit back and say, okay, let me respect him because he, he dressed right. Yeah. You know, if I dress the way I want to dress, you'd be like, man, this guy need to be in, at home in the bed somewhere. <laughs> you know, what's that long nighty thing he got on? What's the flip-flops? <laughs> Why, uh, when the last time he cut his hair? So there ends the lesson, man. <laughs> but thank you for easy for bless only positive people. This great lesson, man. We've enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed watching this program. If you want to reach this? This has been I had. A, I mean, I had a moment. You can reach the I had Incorporated Post Office Box eight seven nine five, Newark, New Jersey 07103, or via the internet at Third House.
at yahoo.com. Lord, we probably did. It's been a pleasure. Holy yes, yes, pleasure. likewise. It's a brother uh, fan kid. He's walked in. Lord, he's out here. Man, he's his peace and the blessing. Keep up with keeping your lives tight. Tight as in being right with the truth of true insight. Who of you want to do things right? Who of you?